Follow me. Let's begin by setting the breath right. So let's begin with breath. Now proper breath is essential for yoga. Otherwise yoga just becomes stretching. So breath brings in life force energy, prawn energy, and it just helps to nourish the body. It also helps to move the fluids through our body and our body we're made of 70 or more percent water. So you wanna be able to move those energies and that fluid through the body because that's what supports your lymphatic system, which flushes and detoxifies the body and supports the immune system and just supports all your, your processes, your blood, your breathing, everything. We're gonna place our hands on the belly. You can thread the fingers if you want to, or you can just spread them out nice and wide. And our first breath is yogic breathing belly breath. Now, if you were at home, you could lay on the ground and do this and really connect in. Now, for awareness, drishti, your focus, I want you to turn your eyes in towards the center of your forehead, or you can just close down your eyes or soft gaze forward, whatever you're most comfortable with. So hands on the belly. We're going to inhale, expand the navel, and exhale, hug the navel to the spine. Inhale, expand, the belly into the hands. Exhale. And just keep breathing like that. Inhale, the belly expands. Exhale. And you're getting your diaphragm in this breath. Involving the diaphragm helps you to increase your lung capacity. It helps your cardiovascular system. It helps support your heart. And it helps to calm the nervous system. Since one of the main, two of the main channels of the nervous system are down at the base of the spine and in the navel. This also houses your digestive system. And if you think about how much we eat, how much we do to our tummy. This is such a good breath for you. Now, a lot of people will breathe opposite. When they inhale, their navel will come to their back. So I want you really paying attention. Inhale, expansion, exhale, pressing the breath through the body. Inhale, receive, exhale. Give back. Just a few more times. And that's yogic breathing, belly breath. And that is our main breath. So no matter how many other breaths we add on or decide to do, we are always inhaling, expanding the belly, exhale, hugging the navel to the spine. This will also help to tone and develop your core. So for this breath, we are going to be inhaling and exhaling through the nose. You may want to get a tissue and blow your nose out before we start any of these breaths. It's a good idea. Just clear the nasal passageways or the nadis as we call them in yoga. To set the pace, we're going to start really slow, but then you're going to speed up the breath. And as you get used to it, you can just start with that faster movement. That's what's going to draw in the energy. And then at the end, you'll see me exhale, 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 spreading my hands nice and wide. And we're going to hold that breath out for a few seconds. And then we're going to inhale and then hold that breath in. So just follow me as we go along. So hands come into that nice wide V, spreading out the fingers. Happy fingers, my guru says. Inhale. Exhale, tuck the thumb. Exhale through the nose.
exhale, release. And then shoulder breathing. This is a beautiful, beautiful breath to do. Like I said, if you need a boost of energy, you need to release any stagnant energy that seems bigger than your environment or your space or your availability to move. So I hope you enjoy. The third breath I wanna teach you is a beautiful, beautiful breath called Breath of Fire. So this is again another one that you can do if you feel like you want to move some big energy through the body, you're really in your head that day, you wake up in kind of a weird mood or foul mood, or you're just having um, just one of those days where you just really don't feel like yourself, you feel really off, you feel really centered, uh, decentered. This will bring in your confidence, this will help you release anything that's not serving you and it will just help you come back to center and also builds willpower and fire in the belly, which can help with weight loss, immunity, concentration, focus, yoga is medicine. So it is a beautiful, beautiful practice. So what we're gonna do is this one, you can clasp your fingers if you like, and you're bring them into the navel. Now I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see a little bit better. And you're going to pump your belly. So we're going to inhale halfway and then we're gonna and then we're gonna to start to exhale through the nose, closing our mouth. And the inhale should become very automatic. So you can use your hands to pump in. diaphragm gets stronger to just help you. Now you would go continuously, but I'm teaching you, so I have to stop for a moment to explain some things. So you definitely can, with any of these breaths, close your eyes down or soft gaze forward. Now this one is really good for toning and firming the belly and all the other benefits that I just mentioned, but it's also extremely, extremely good for centering and balancing. As you'd get stronger, you would remove your hands and you had a couple options. You can sit with your hands in Yan Mudra, which is the fingertip of the first finger and the thumb touching. And we're gonna get into mudras in a little bit. And your other three fingers would be straight. And you wanna make sure you're skin to skin and not skin to nail. You're not touching your nail beds, you're touching skin to skin. There. And you'd put your hands down and you would come into breath of fire. So let's just do it for a few moments. the end you do one big long exhale holding it out you would scoop the belly in keeping that exhale held out tuck the chin and lift the chest and just hold that out breath so untuck the chin inhale keeping your mudra hold the in breath And just according to your own restraint. So if you can't hold it as long as me, that's okay. Just keep practicing and the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. This is a really good breath for building confidence and for building stamina. So I hope you enjoy. So the fourth breath I wanna teach you today to have in your toolkit arsenal is one of my favorites. You can do it pretty inconspicuously anywhere. It brings balance into the nadi and pingali glands, which in yoga we call the left and the right side. Um, it brings balance to the brain. It helps to stimulate the immune system. It cleans out the lungs. It brings calmness, strength, stability, confidence, and it's just an all time favorite breath. I love, love, love teaching this and using it anywhere. So it's called Anahali breath. 
alternate nostril breathing. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take your two fingers and just fold them down into your palm. If they touch, it's great. If they don't, that's okay. And you're going to leave out your ring finger and your pinky finger and your thumb. And then you're going to bring it up by the nose. And you're going to take a nice deep inhale and exhale through the nose, both nostrils. And then you're going to start to bring the hand closer and you're going to close the right side with your thumb and inhale left. And then you're going to close the left nostril with your ring finger and exhale right. Now inhale right. Now close, pause, exhale left. Inhale left, close, pause, exhale right. Inhale right, close, pause, exhale left. Inhale, close and pause, exhale right. Inhale, close and pause, left side. to finish when you get to the right side and you exhale you're going to inhale close pause exhale left release the hand and come into yawn mudra and just come back to a few normal breaths normal being belly breath come back to neutral Our nostrils change dominance every 10 seconds. So either your right nostril is breathing in more inhale or your left nostril is breathing in more inhale. And when they change dominance, um, and if you have any stress or tension, you start holding your breath, you can really create an energetic prawn imbalance in the body. So if you want to balance it out or just come to center really quickly, come to focus, come back into your wisdom, into clear thinking, alternate nostril breath is one of the best breaths. You can do it in the morning for energy or you can do it at night before you go to bed. It's calming, soothing, invigorating, but it wouldn't make you not be able to sleep. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so you can do any of these four breaths that I've gone over in between calls or just for a moment. I recommend doing them for at least a minute, but best practice would be three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, or 11 minutes. And it's really nourishing breath. If you notice, we need breath to live and it's so abundantly available and we often take that for granted. And we have all kinds of environmental factors right now, of course, but getting in as much oxygen through daily breathing is so, so good for you. So even a minute of practice a day can create some really great health and lifestyle benefits. Thanks for breathing with me and I'll see you soon. If you like this video, please subscribe. Click the link below.